This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus. We're back at King's Great Buys Plus, of course, with Merrick Bates Thomas, Kitchen Transition. The Thank you, Angie. Yeah, so we're glad to see you because you're making one of our favorite dishes here Ooh, is chili. Yes, chili. This is a one-pot chili okay. that uh, goes back about 35-plus years. It's All my right. original oh. chili recipe that's transitioned through the years <laughs> just like well, I have. You came up with this idea yourself, right? Yes. Okay, good, yeah. deal, good deal. So it started off very mild, like it would have been, kind of, sort of, back in the late 80s or right. whatever. And then you transition it through the years. It's got a little bit more heat, okay. but it also has add-in heat because this is something the whole family can eat. Right. And right. for the kiddos, it's not too hot. Right, right. And me. And, and me. And <laughs> Not me. I'm going to add some stuff. But for those yeah. who like additional heat, then they can throw in the chilies, the salsa verde. They can heat it up to the degree they like. And I right. love having the right. choices, too. I think that, that makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, it can be yeah. colorful. Yes, it can And be. you can do it more like a charcuterie board, too. Oh, that is I cool. kept it easy just yeah. for the TV today, but... Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All the ease we Packing can get. things up makes it interesting so oh, i have yeah. the ingredients before me okay, except enough. for the any beef or whatever you so do. what do we have here so it starts off we don't have the onion because it's in there oh yes okay, okay. but you want to brown an onion and your garlic and you saute those for about three to five minutes just okay. any kind of oil would work I what use you, olive oil. Gotcha, okay. Traditionally, you could use avocado oil, too. I use that now a lot, yeah. Yeah. And so the thing about a clove of garlic, I use about five cloves of garlic. If that size yes. or the big yes. jammas, yes. <laughs> yes, five of them. This is a whole clove, or bulb. Yeah. This is a clove. Right, just part so of it. So a yeah. lot of times there have been stories of people getting that confused, and that can lead <laughs> to be a lot of garlic. flavors. <laughs> Yeah, you like I like garlic. garlic. Yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. But yeah, that'd be a lot. So you saute that for about three to five minutes. Okay. You brown the ground beef. Okay. And then you get that pretty much cooked through. And then you add tomato sauce, which tomato is right sauce here. right here. I use a no salt added because we've got okay. so many seasonings right. going into it. You yeah, don't need the salt. added sodium. Mm -hmm. And then the reason we have the strainers here. Canned beans. This is a tri-bean blend, so oh, it has okay. three different beans in it, and uh, you want to drain these really well. That's okay. cool because I put them? a lot of different beans in my. I don't usually. Yeah. Do you I, rinse them? I don't. I don't rinse them. Okay. <laughs> you want to <laughs> rinse want them? Do I? You want to rinse them? All right. Them. Well, I'll yeah. take your advice from now on, Merritt. Yes. I'll start rinsing. I use black beans. I use like dark red kidney yeah. beans. And yes. Sometimes yes. even the some more lighter the beans, too, some navy beans. That's exactly what What's this is. That? Okay. There you go. So there you go. Okay. Uh, from there, then, you mix all that together really well, and you let it simmer and stew for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. And, uh, oh, we forgot to talk about the tomato sauce, which is in the same size can. Yeah. You get two cans of the diced tomatoes and one can of tomato sauce. Now, that could you lick it? I mean, could you basically, like, thicken it a little bit with, say, some tomato paste or something like that? You don't need to. Okay. Because oh. this is not thickened. Well, and you see how it it's is cooked thick, down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a stew. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay, yeah. we have 30 seconds, so let's dish it so out. So we need honey. to talk fast. <laughs> yes. Sorry, we talk fast. Well, I'll serve this up here for Angie and myself. And then here. we have an assortment of different that's, that's wrong. toppings that you can add. We've got onions. We've got tortilla strips. We've got salsa verde, chili. Salsa verde, come my way. But here's my, I'm going to just take the, it straight. Okay. I'm going to go great. straight here because I want to see Maybe try it straight and see Okay, let's try, yeah, let's try it straight. Okay, here we go. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Cheers. And what do you think, Angie? It doesn't need a thing. No. Mm. And it is. It's nice and thick, and I like a thick chili. That is Rich, really, really good. So good, Merritt. This is a winner. Good. Thank you. Really and truly. This would, this would be good year round. Oh, I but love perfect round. in the fall. But perfect in the fall. Thank <laughs> you, my dear. It's Thank you. Great chili. Already. Merritt Bates Thomas will be back with more lifestyles right after this. This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus.